All right, welcome back to our unofficial guide to Wirecast. We are now on the, we're getting pretty close. We're on chapter, I think it's uh, 20, on how to work with playlists. And in order to show this feature, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite websites for getting content. Because we're going to use some content. Uh, we're going to use some audio content. And what we're going to do is we're going to download a couple different pieces of audio and play them. So I'm just going to download like three different MP3, uh, four different MP3s. And these MP3s are going to be used for um, creating a playlist of MP3s that we can, we can manage inside of, of um, Wirecast in a playlist. Now, playlists are a really cool feature of Wirecast. All you need to do to add a playlist is to click the plus button and go to shots and choose new shot playlist that is how simple it is you go ahead and just hit play and then when you double click your playlist you'll see we have a new option here to start adding uh media inside of a of a saved playlist so when we go to media files here we're going to browse my disk real quick and we see we can actually choose four mp3s now, the nice thing about the playlist is we've got all these different options here. We can shuffle the playlist, which gives you the ability to kind of quickly shuffle things up. We can uh, set the behavior of the playlist to loop, um, which is nice if we'd like to do that. Um, we can click resume, and the resume button will save the current playlist shot when the playlist is taken off live. Uh, but we can go ahead and, boom, start playing the playlist. Now this playlist, you can see the audio going there, is going to start playing. And we can manage it by double clicking it here and we can see where the playlist is. We can skip to the uh, next piece of the playlist if we choose. You can see those changing there. Um, and we can quickly and easily manage these different pieces of the playlist. So it's nice to be able to, to use the playlist that it's built for audio or video. I like to use it to kind of mash together a bunch of audio. But we can now um, actually set up keyboard shortcuts to manage this playlist. And the, the playlist feature is just really easy way to use, you know, different pieces of media. We can change the duration of the playlist and uh, we can actually modify each piece of the playlist. So. When we go to the playlist and we come in here, we have the ability to um, modify the duration of each playlist and edit the manual transitions that are used in the playlist. So here in the properties, we can see what's going on here in the shop manager. So let's take a quick closer look at the shop manager for this playlist. Here we go. In the shop manager, we can see we can actually choose to quickly jump in and out of that. Um, begin playing media when it becomes live. We can um, jump to and from. So right now you can see here the inspiring soft backgrounds on, but we can change that and we can jump to the in and out points of this song. So it makes it pretty nice, the ability to quickly manage and just loop a bunch of audio together. Um, other than that, most of the, you know, if we're doing audio, obviously, we have the ability to do audio. Um, and we have the ability to kind of switch what we're controlling inside of a larger playlist. And again, we can shuffle the playlist up. So if we do another playlist, let's say we've got our audio playlist going. Let's do a playlist of pictures. Uh, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five pictures here in our playlist. Oh, I did that wrong. I gotta delete these. I didn't create the playlist first. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, create another playlist in shots. Go into the playlist. Now we can also um, go into the playlist. We can add anything we want into the playlist, but we're gonna use pictures. There we go. That's about enough. 
And when we cut to this playlist, again, we can manage it inside of the playlist, but remember, you still need to hit the cut button in order to switch to that playlist, switch the output. So it's a nice way to basically condense your, if you've got, if you know you have a little a little mini slideshow or a big group of audio, you can play them all in a, in a kind of save space inside your Wirecast production. So that is working with playlists inside of Wirecast. Let's keep going inside of our unofficial guide to Wirecast book.